I mean, escape, sorry. Uh, too many children around the house, Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, Cars, My Little Pony, um, Mia and Me, that's an interesting show. Anyway, um, so speaking of escape contention, says so I do pretty much anything I can to get out of seeing those shows anymore. Why? Because I'm done. I've had enough. I can recite all of Finding Nemo. I can definitely recite all of Cars. And I'm learning every episode. I do know all the episodes of Mia and Me for the first first season. Oh my god. Anyway, um, so escaping, right? It's negatively reinforcing. So an escape contingency is any contingency that maintains behavior by escaping a stimulus. Getting away from it, right? Um, so you're know, putting on your seatbelt in the car. Beep, 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 beep. It doesn't do that. It goes beep, 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 click. Beeping goes away. So hopefully escaping the beeping is negatively reinforcing and you continue to put on your seatbelt. Now on the other hand, just crawl underneath the seat and cut the wires. No, you're not supposed to do that anymore. But in the old cars, you could. You can't do that nowadays. It does all sorts of stuff to other things. So don't do that. Don't cut the wires on your seatbelt. But it would be a, uh, the seatbelt and the beeping is an escape contingency sort of thing. Uh, so there's all sorts of stuff like that. Of whatever it is you're trying to avoid or escape. I know I said avoid. And we're talking about escape. Give me a break! But the point is, is that it's all negatively reinforcing. It's really what it's about.